We've been speaking out on social media and they're already censoring us on social media. Just like the governor. I told him to go, I told him, I told the governor to go fuck himself and I said that he should do us all a favor and go kill himself. I said I hope him and his family gets the virus because I was so mad. I just wrote a tweet and they censored me. I'm not allowed to tweet anymore. Because I got 12,000 views. <laughs> Well, this is the problem too. What we've messed up in America, if there really was this insane virus that we have, we just contaminated everyone by allowing them to go to the grocery stores. Where in other countries, the government is delivering, but our government would never deliver to us. But there, their government is bringing them supplies to their houses, and that's how they quarantine for real. Here, our government would never actually give us food or anything, so they're like, oh, stay in your house unless you need to go to the grocery store and be in with every person packed in like sardines and all the lines in the grocery store. Like, okay, great quarantine. Yeah, that's really good. So if it was that deadly, then they would have closed the grocery stores. So I don't believe it. My biggest worry was like, I'm worried that they would still need more punches to try to keep things partially yeah. open so that the wealthy don't lose money. So I think that's what's going on here. Like, if we wanted to take this seriously and react to the way a lot of other countries have around the world, we should have been doing this for months. We should have just said, hey, guess what, everyone here, oh, in a week we're going to do this. You're not allowed to leave your house for two weeks. We're stamping it flat. Yeah, see, that's what they should have delivered to the like, over it, like, letting companies a time to adjust because we're trying to protect rich people's money. And it's just like now there's a hundred thousand dollars. The reason why they didn't do that is because our government would never want to actually provide services to us. And see, that's what they'd have to do because who would bring the food to the people if we were stuck in our house for a week? Because the delivery doesn't work good enough. I mean, we get food delivery, but now you have to wait 24 hours for food or anything like that, or longer, if it's even available. Sometimes it'll say, not available for three days of delivery. So that, our current delivery system wouldn't work to deliver the whole world, or the whole U.S. So it would have had to be the military, and they're not going to do that. So that's why, if, if I felt if they were doing that, then I would feel it was as serious as they're saying. They, then they would feel, wow, our whole society is going to die. We better really quarantine. But they're saying, oh, stay in your house. But if you need to go to the grocery store or get supplies, feel free to go do that. But don't go to work. And you're like, okay, so you want me to buy my supplies with no money for, from work. Uh, and, but then you're saying, stay in my house unless I need to go to the grocery store and be with tons of people in line. I was at the grocery store yesterday, the lady wasn't even wearing, uh, uh, the cashier wasn't even wearing gloves. I was like, okay, is this really that serious? Well, did you hear now, Governor? Governor now is going to use the police to enforce every business to close besides the what he considers. But this is the BS. So non-essential includes construction. I'll tell you why. Because of the Raiders Stadium. Because Steve Sisolak, that's his baby, the Raiders Stadium, and that stadium is already kind of fucked. In a sense, they've had so many problems. We've been tracking that. Well, the reason why he made construction essential why would construction be essential that's something that could wait anyway we don't need to build resort world right now but he did that because he wants that raider stadium
just one so of the stores for certain they, things. They are the development company for that stadium. So a lot of stores. I don't know the full details. I just got a glance through the article. Free stuff this morning. But yeah. they sold the lease yeah. price yeah. for the stadium like, itself to a different company that made a hundred and some, like a hundred and eighty some million dollars. Yes. And now we're stuck with a stadium and the Raiders are like, I don't know what we're coming at all, guys. They're saying that now? Nope. But the Raiders are. That property industry made over yeah, two hundred yeah, million dollars by flipping yeah, and moving property. But the Raiders are still maybe not coming up. Yeah, that's what our, the article said. It wasn't an article about that fact. It was just an article about the company. Yeah, that was a shady deal. I know the deal. You're talking about the deal that occurred in Henderson at the corporate office. What they did was, Mark Davis bought a property from the county, Steve Sisolak for half the appraised value at $6 million. 12 months later, he sold it to his own sub-company for $180 million. Uh, did you know like, today's the first day we have like sunlight? Like It was like cloudy. Vegas is never cloudy. Like Three days of clouds. And then the clouds. gambler died. Did you hear that? The gambler, the guy that wrote the song, The Gambler? Kenny, Kenny Rogers. Rogers. Kenny Rogers. Died. You know the, you Just, know the song, The Gambler? You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. The, the, the Kenny Rogers guy. No, we're just saying... Like, no, he just died yesterday, but... One of those cosmic things, like... He's a ga his, he wrote the song, The Gambler. Which is like a big Vegas... Song. Vegas is dying. Vegas is dying. And yesterday, he dies. Oh, okay. Just like, you know, one of those cosmic things. I'm just kind of like... You have to look at the signs, man. Like because look, because apart. because we're censored and we think we have all everything we know, but all you know is what someone told you you read. You have to look. You know what I mean? You have to see the signs. There's no other way. Hi. We're just all connecting. This is this craziness? This is what it, this is. This is how it happens. This is how, re, how this is how everything happens. Our revolutions Not the death, I'm not impressed. I'm not amused, I'm not confused, I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business, I'm not in school. Put your hand down, youngin', this is not for you. I'm a jail, my deep with the Kanye, yo. Name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh, it's like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out, check it out.